Hi guys, welcome to the Biotech YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about uh, lips permanent makeup. If you wanna know how I have achieved this beautiful result on lips, please keep watching this video tutorial. So first step, we're gonna mark our pre-drawing sketch into the skin and we are going to mark into the skin our contour. We're gonna do so by using a one-point classic needle with the Maestro device and in particular we are using the soft handpiece. So we're using the soft Maestro handpiece with a one-point classic needle. The movement that I'm doing is a back and forth movement and I pass more than one time over the same area. My intention in this step is just to mark on the skin the contour. I do not want to achieve a very visible or too marked or too intense line. I want the contour to be actually barely visible, just enough for me to be able to work freely without worrying about smudging the um, drawing that I've uh, performed before. This is the reason why I always like to start uh, uh, with the contour from the lower lip and then pass on the upper lip because as you can see here my hand lays on the lower lip and therefore I need to do first the lower lip otherwise I would risk to damage my pre-drawing sketch with my hand. So always start by lower lip and then upper lip. In the first step I do not want to stretch the skin too much. I just want to hold the skin and I want to proceed very carefully along the contour. Okay, this is the result. And as a st second step, I'm gonna take a three points of liner needle. My aim is to perfection and enlarge this contour to make it a little bit more visible, but not too dark. Because the secret here, if we want to achieve natural permanent makeup on lips, we need to do that by first of all choosing a natural color. And in the Biotech Gamma of pigment, there are over 50 different shades of lip pigment, so every client will for sure find the matching color for their needs. In this case, I'm using the color uh, Biolip 41, which is an antique rose but a very natural antique rose and I have addictionated it with one drop of a different color called Glam. Glam is another color always from the Biotech uh, gamma uh, of pigments but is a brighter color uh, similar to a magenta color. So I put one drop of that just to uh, give it a touch of brightness, uh, an extra touch of brightness. The result will be an absolute natural, natural result for an everyday look. My client today, um, she asked me to just redefine the contour of her lips. Uh, she doesn't, didn't want to get anything uh, too visible. She wanted to stay natural to be able to wear this permanent makeup uh, every day without regretting it. She just would like to uh, her natural contour to be a little bit more defined because with aging we tend to lose the pigmentation on our um, contour of the lips and permanent makeup can help us uh, to recreate the illusion of fuller and plumper lips. So regarding this second step, the movement that I'm doing with a needle three points of liner is first a back and forth movement along the contour line and then after I've gone over it, I will start creating some small circles attached to the contour, as you see here. Small, tiny circles along the contour. Those circles will create the beginning of our shading effect towards the inside of the lips. The new techniques of impermanent makeup uh, mm, do not foresee the contour, visible contour, marked contour like it was many years ago. It was trendy to just have <laughs> this very like violet strong contour only. Now we actually tend to do exactly the opposite. When we do permanent makeup we want to make sure that we, yes, 
We also do the contour, but this contour should not be darker than uh, the filling. Should just be the same color and blend very nicely and smoothly with the um, pigmentation of the mucosa as well. So what we're seeing today, it's what we call full lips effect because we're tattooing the contour and also the full lips, the full mucosa will be tattooed. Just like lipstick, but a very natural lipstick. So, once again, I show you again the movement. I go over the contour, you see now back and forth over the contour. And then from the back and forth, I start doing small circles towards the inside of the mucosa, the inner side of the mucosa. This will create a visible crispy and defined contour and the beginning of the blending towards the inside of the mucosa for our shading effect. Do not be scared to repeat the same movement over the same area more than once. This is absolutely necessary and uh, it's actually uh, the best thing to do because we cannot achieve the perfect saturation in just one pass. We need to apply uh, the softest touch. We do not need to press too much on the needle. We need to be very delicate and gentle because remember we're working on the mucosa which is very fragile and sensitive. So we need to be very delicate. But how do we achieve the perfect intensity? We need to pass over the same area one, two, three times. As many times as needed to bring enough pigment into the skin. When I always say to my students, remember, when we do lips, lips is a work of patience. So do not rush, take your time, it needs time to create the perfect healed result. Moving on, this is my third pass and I'm changing the needle for the third time. This time I'm using a 9 Magnum needle. So first step, I was using One Point Classic. Second step, I was using a three points of liner needle. Third step, a nine magnum needle. This is my filling needle. This is the big needle that I will use to blend in the beginning of my shading, which I've achieved by doing small circles close to the contour. And I will blend everything together with this bigger needle till the inner part of the lips. With this needle, I go over everything. And once again, I work in layers. So do not push too much. Do not try to achieve the perfect saturation in one pass, but be patient and do many, many steps, one on top of the other. This is the only way to achieve a perfect healed result. Because the problem when we do lips is that if we deposit the pigment too much in the superficial layers or if we do not deposit enough pigment into the skin, this finished result, this result that we see, we perceive with our eyes immediately after the first session will be um, not any longer visible 30 days after, which is the time that our skin takes to completely heal. So when we do permanent makeup, the risk sometimes is that we tend to be maybe too delicate or we tend to pass not enough times over the same area and therefore we do not bring enough pigment into the skin and sometimes after 30 days we don't see absolutely any result. <laughs> so our clients pay us and they expect a certain result after 30 days. And in order to achieve it, we need to deposit enough pigment in the correct layer of the skin. This doesn't mean that we should press more, that we should try to put more pressure on the needle, actually rather the opposite, because I remind you once again that if you press too much with the needle, the color will be deposited into the lower layers of the dermis, and this will crea create the effect and the illusion of a grayish, violet, Mm, spots into the skin and will not be reabsorbed by our body so absolutely do not put too much pressure and always make sure to choose an experienced artist for your permanent makeup 
because the technique really will make the difference. When we do eyebrows, eyes, lips, whatever technique we're doing, experience will make you perfect. Practice will make you perfect. So you need to do a lot of practice in order to understand the perfect depth of implantation of the pigment. That will allow you to achieve perfect healed results. I love this color, oh, it looks so gorgeous. Remember that the healed result 30 days after will be a little bit lighter and even more natural than this color. The color tends to fade away good 30% off in the 30 days that it takes for our skin to heal. And after that, our client will need to come back for a touch-up, so within 30-40 days. After the second touch-up, the first touch-up actually, and the second session of permanent makeup, this will be the final result and she will need to come back to me maybe in two, three years, whenever she feels like she would like to. I love these pigments because they give me the best healed results. They stay so much so long into the skin, they don't change color, they are so easy to implant uh, and really for lips, there's nothing better. What do you think guys? Do you like this result? If you have liked this video tutorial, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss the next video tutorials. Bye guys, ciao ciao! Mm-hmm.